Hi everyone, this is Kathy Grosskirth with Bookkeeping Clean and Simple and this video is focused today on exploring the new Intuit Bookkeeping Certification which is a new part of the reimagined ProAdvisor Academy. I don't know how long this video is going to be but I hope that you'll stick with me because this is a relatively new certification offering and I kind of wanted to go through it to see what it's all about and to give you a little bit more information on what to expect when you enroll. In. And as you can see, I'm already in the certifications tab and that's the first certification that they show on the list. Now, before I actually jump into this, I would love it if you would like, subscribe to my channel and share it with others. And particularly, I am trying to get up to 4,000 viewer hours. I am so close. I only have less than 1,000 to go. And any way that y'all can help me get those viewer hours up to 4,000 and over, that would be wonderful because that's how short I am to monetizing my channel. And that's been my goal for the last three or four years to get the subscribers, which I have, but I need to get those viewer hours up. So if you can help me with that, that would be great. One way that you can do that is to push out my videos to other social media outlets, share them with your friends and colleagues. Yes, that would be wonderful if you would do that. I would appreciate it so much if you would do that. Now, with that said, again, we are in the certifications tab of the ProAdvisor Academy, and this is my realm. And, and like I said, I haven't done anything with this as yet. So I hope you'll just stay with me as we go through all of this together. So as you can see, the Intuit Bookkeeping Certification is here. And from what I understand about the certification is that this is actually offered through a company called Coursera. It was actually developed originally to be done through Coursera. And I believe the testing has to be done through Coursera to get the certification. I don't really know. That's why I wanted to go ahead and do this cursory video to kind of go through the process. Now, I haven't even enrolled in this yet. So we're going to be all doing this together, as you can see. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down here to where it says more details, because I want us to look at the more details first before we just click on the enroll. And a little disclosure, I did kind of do this before I went into the video so that we can kind of get an overview of what this is and I can kind of intelligently tell you a little bit about what's going on here. So as you can see, it kind of gives you a basic synopsis of what this training is all about. And it looks like that this is a 30 hour self-paced course. There's no prerequisites to this. And this type of certification would be for someone say you don't have any bookkeeping knowledge or experience or haven't gone to school for bookkeeping or you've been out of the field for a while and want to refresh your knowledge and experience with that. So that would be the intended audience for this type of training. So let's kind of scroll down a little bit. And you can see that they've divided these trainings into five separate categories. Bookkeeping basics, your tracking of the assets and sales, tracking expenses, liabilities, and equity, reconciling accounts and examining financial statements. And there's a survey at the end, I guess, to provide feedback and suggestions on improvement and that kind of thing. Well, what I want to do is I'm going to scroll back up again because what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on enroll. That way it will take me into, I guess, the actual course where I can actually start. And look at this. And we talked about this in my last video where I covered the ProAdvisor Academy. It allows you to test out if you don't want to go through any of the trainings at all. But for me, and being that I teach this stuff, I definitely want to go through all of these courses. So I would say testing out would probably be one of the last things you'll want to do unless you're absolutely certain that you can test out of it and without having to go through any of this. But if you need CPEs, 
And a lot of times you'll get CPE through a lot of the trainings that Intuit offers. So why not just go ahead and go through the CPEs and just do it at your own leisure? And as you can see, we have no progress here since I haven't done anything yet. And one thing I forgot to point out, and this is important, you're going to need access to spreadsheet software for some of the activities in this learning. No previous accounting or bookkeeping experience is necessary. And then that kind of stuff, they go on and talk about what you'll do or what you'll need to do when you pass the training and all that. So just, I'm going to scroll back up again a little bit, and I'm going to go ahead and click on start for the bookkeeping basics. And I'm not actually going to go through this whole thing, but I just want to see, and for all of y'all following along, we just want to kind of see what happens when we click on start here. And then it looks like you get to a landing page before you actually start the actual module. So in order to start the module, you have to click on start module. And, and it also kind of gives you an introduction to it. Uh, and, and look at that. I think it just brought me back in there and I can always go, it looks like hit the back button if I didn't want to actually start this right now. So let me go back and see. And look at that. When I go back to the page, it remembers where I was. It just says that I was in progress. And then I can go ahead and click on continue. And so there you go. As you, and, and I don't think you have to do any of these modules in any particular order. You can start wherever you feel comfortable. Of course, the survey you're probably not going to be able to do until the very end. But anyway, it looks pretty self-explanatory. And at some point I will go through this on my own, but I just kind of wanted all of us together to see what this looked like when you haven't signed up for anything and to go through it. So anyway, I hope this helps you today. And if you haven't gotten any kind of bookkeeper certification or training, I would urge you to start here before you do anything else or actually do this in tandem with the certification level one QuickBooks Online courses that they have in here. But anyway, y'all have a wonderful day. Take care and we will see you very soon.